My name is Costanza Venegas. I currently serve as an instructional coach with Teaching Lab, and this is my why. We completed our first essay in this class, and I remember the professor asking me specifically and directly to stay after class. I didn't know what that meant, but to me, I'm like, okay, great. Wonderful opportunity to build a relationship with my professor. Great opportunity to, you know, really start to work the system, if you will. And this is how I feel like I succeeded in school. Everybody left, I stayed, and I remember the paper, my essay in front of me, on top of it, stapled to it, was a neon green piece of paper. I didn't know what it was, but it was, I would never forget the color, I would never forget the paper. I'm Italian and Mexican, but my first and only language is English. And of course, I took some Spanish classes in high school, but but definitely not fluent, not even intermediate, I would say, just beginner at best. Um, but she looked at me, she pointed to the paper, and she's like, Sentio, as an English language learner, here are the services that we have for you. Basically, what she was saying to me is that my writing was so atrocious, she thought that I was still learning English and my writing was that bad. And so this was just like glaring, another glaring moment of like, wow, I was not prepared. I'm not prepared. So what do I got to do to figure it out? And of course, I surround myself with mentors, other different people and coaches that help support me in my academic prowess. And I, and I believe I got better, of course. <laughs> but all that to say, like the lack of education that I didn't receive, that I should have received, that I should have been afforded to receive, was so instrumental to me moving forward in the rest of my trajectory in education and what I do now. A number of years later, uh, after getting into education, I joined Teach for America, I did the teaching thing, and I stepped into some leadership roles. And I remember in 2015, I got a call from somebody who said, hey, Kostenzi, we would like to talk to him about starting a school in Racine. And Racine is the my hometown where I didn't get a great education. Where schooling system still needs tons of work and transformation and so I got the opportunity to found and start my own school in my own community and that still exists today. We started K3, it's now K8, K-8 school, it's a charter school, but we were able to start this school and really like give back to my community and to the kids who grew up like me, who look like me, who are brown and black and need an education that they deserve. So in our first year, we we surpassed the district average by 15% in both reading and math proficient levels on a state exam. And we've continued to show our educational prowess in that way. But this has been fueled by my why, which is my lack of education. Every kid, no matter what seat they fall in, whether it's charter choice, private, they deserve a great education, especially students who look like me, especially students who are part of black and brown communities. So at Teaching Lab, my primary focus is an instructional coach. So I get to focus on the people who matter most in the building besides our students, which is our teachers. So the thing I love about Teaching Lab and the role that I'm in as an instructional coach, I purely solely focus on instructional coaching the work that i do as a coach i come in into a building at let's say one school i see them once a week um the window of literacy the block is very short and so my work with the teacher needs to be carried out for the rest of the week so that that side by side work with another instructional leader in the school is very important so the work that i get to do consists of coaching the teacher supporting the leader and also sharpening the lens and coaching the leader urgency part about it is also what what i like to emphasize when i do instructional coaching which is we don't have much time. The window, as I mentioned, is small. So the work that I get to do is to support teachers and coach teachers in the moment. So that looks like a number of things. But one of the things that looks like is real-time feedback, whether it's me giving a whisper prompt to a teacher or whether it's me jumping in to model for a teacher or whether me co-teaching side-by-side with a teacher, it's immediate adjustment. It's immediate action steps. It's immediate impact on a teacher's practice. So all that to say, a teaching lab, I get to focus on just the teacher and working directly with kids to improve practice so that so that our kids can hopefully get the education they deserve.